I'm Emilio Pesmino, and today we're in Ixcaret Eco Park in Quintana Roo, Mexico. And right now, I'm exploring the river systems and caves of the park. But in just a moment, I'm going to be swimming with one of the most feared predators in the ocean, sharks. The Xcaret Eco Park here in Mexico is famous for its clear rivers that flow through caves and is also home to a variety of wildlife that roam around the park naturally. But on today's adventure, we'll be getting in the water with one of the park's most notorious residents, the nurse shark. Although I've swam with sharks in the ocean before, doing it in captivity provided an opportunity to get some close-up shots that would have been far more challenging to get in the wild. Unlike most sharks that must be in constant movement to breathe, nurse sharks can remain sitting on the seafloor for long periods of time. They do this by facing against the flow of water and pumping it through their mouth and gills. Nurse sharks have a specialized way of feeding that is perfect for eating crustaceans and other bottom dwelling creatures. Instead of having the large triangular teeth of typical sharks, they have thousands of tiny serrated teeth. Once they have located a prey item, they suck them up like a vacuum cleaner and then crush them with their strong jaws. This strategy is also used by stingrays, who are close relatives of sharks. Speaking of which, stingrays are also a favorite food of theirs, and I guess that's something we have in common. Nurse sharks have very rough skin. It feels pretty similar to sandpaper if you touch it. And because it's so strong, it's often used to make leather. Another key characteristic of nurse sharks are these whisker-like structures called barbells, which help them detect prey. Due to their very slow metabolism, they don't require nearly as much food as other sharks, which allows them to have a high population density. They also give birth to very large litters of up to 20 to 30 pups, further increasing their population size. They live close to the shoreline in tropical and subtropical waters, and in many parts of their range, they are the most common shark in the area. Nurse sharks can grow well over 3 meters in length and weigh nearly 150 kilos. Despite their massive size, they're famous for being one of the friendly sharks, being popularly used in tourist attractions like this one due to its calm demeanor. While it is true that they very rarely attack unprovoked, this has given many divers and swimmers a misguided sense of security. A lot of people will attempt to hold them, pet them around the mouth, or even try to hand feed them. And that's usually when they end up getting bit. Fortunately, there have been no recorded fatalities involving this species of shark. Well guys, that was an epic adventure. But I'm going to continue having fun in the magical land of mystery known as Mexico. Till next time. So one last thing before I head to the outro. I was recently invited to be on an episode of the BioLovers channel, where I talk a little bit about what we do on this channel and some of the experiences surrounding a few of my favorite videos. It was an incredible honor to be featured, and it actually just came out right now. So please, go check it out by clicking the icon above. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss out on any new adventures by clicking the channel icon right above, or click here to watch another video. And as always, thanks for watching.